800 is our phone number. I am too. And we had the Staples. What? Who did we have yesterday? The wait, there was the Maple Sisters. Yeah, Staples Sisters. I love them too. Um, all right, let's go out to James Rojas, KBC News reporter. He has been uh, at a pizza hut. I mean, a pizzeria, right? Yeah, hey, Dr. Drew. Hey, Lauren. Yeah, yesterday we had hundreds, uh, possibly thousands of, of uh, LeBron James fans and Lakers fans descend upon a pizzeria in Culver City uh, on the on the hope that the newly signed Laker would be showing up. But after hours of waiting in the sun, uh, the king never made his him never made a presence. So, so what made this crowd believe he was going to show so this started as a promotional thing for the pizza chain called Blaze Pizza, which LeBron James is an investor for uh, or investor of. Uh-huh. So the pizza chain announced on Monday on Twitter that as a way to welcome LeBron to L.A., they would be offering free pizza from 2 to 5 p.m. at all of their L.A. locations. However, LeBron retweeted with a, with a cryptic message saying, quote, haven't been to a pizza party in a minute, Culver City, question mark. That was enough for Lakers. Don't forget the emojis. Oh, yeah. We had a, we... <laughs> the thinking emoji. The thinking emoji and then the pizza emoji. Pizza slice of pizza emoji. I mean, that's confirmation for me. So I wonder, much. I wonder if that's him trying to just direct some business into an underserved, uh, a represent, you know, underserved uh, parlor. Well, if it was, it definitely worked because, uh, again, uh, Lakers, LeBron fans, they began lining up outside the door at 7.30 in the morning. Again, just for the possibility of seeing LeBron, this line went all the way around the building, down the sidewalk, around the block, and into a residential neighborhood. And some say the line was a mile long. Oh, my God. Well, this to me, uh, we have some sound from the event, but but this to me is a sign of what what LeBron can do for the economy, right? I mean, if, if he channels oh, that yeah. properly, you know, I've, let's, I've, but now, God forbid there's a false alarm and it's your neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, but I, well, unless you have a, a, a business you want to, you want to expose people to. So I, I say this is potentially a really good thing for Los Angeles. And I don't understand why the mayor's office is not involved with Mr. LeBron, but uh, I understand James, you got some, some sound for us from the line. Yes. Yeah, there are definitely people who were not happy when he did not show up after the hours of waiting. So I, I picked their brains afterwards, and I think we have it here. All right. I'll let me out here. For what? About three and a half Four hours? Four hours? I've been out in the heat all day, so I'm kind of disappointed and confused after like he signed this huge contract. It's kind of his first impression in L.A. Any Chelsea believes he's going to be somewhere and doesn't show up. So like that's a little bit annoying, but obviously still love him. I'm going to support him and whatever he does, especially on the Lakers. But- Jordan would have pulled up. I'm just saying, Jordan, Jordan would have came. Kobe, the Mambo mentality, he would have came. He didn't technically say he's going to be here, but in Twitter speak, he did say the location with a hashtag, and he put the eyes, you know, the winky eye. But he didn't put the hundred emoji, so I don't think it's a certain thing, you know. The hundred emoji. Is this something I need to learn about? What's the hundred? Yeah, that's like a dollar bill emoji. Like, you know, you're making a rain kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> James, I need you to coach me up on my emoji, my emoji use and emoji speak. Uh, and speaking of which, I, I'm not sure I got the point everybody was making. What, 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 were they, what was the point, James? Yeah, they, they, they were hope they were they were really hoping that this uh, event would have been a literal pizza party with LeBron there, uh, ma- making his first uh, debut, his first public debut debut as an LA Laker. Uh, again, though people were disappointed, they say they're still excited for the season and any future possible appearances that he that he may be making. Did they have to give out free pizza to all those that mile long line of people in Culver City? They did, in fact. And so they, at 5 o'clock, they stopped the line. However, again, it went on for practically a mile. So they gave stickers to people in line that waited still, uh, still disappointed without the fact of LeBron being there. At least they got fed. But, yeah, the, the, that was it, it took a while, to say the least, to get in there. Although this does portend interesting sort of phenomenon for the economy going forward that LeBron can create. I'm not sure this a frenzy. Re- I'm not sure this did much for that business, them having to give away 500 pieces of pizza or whatever it was, or 1,000 pieces. And hey, look at all the free press. What's the business uh, called? (laughs) The Blaze Pizza. The The Blaze Blaze. Pizza. Let's at least give them that, and we'll head over around the corner here and do that. All right, James. Now I want pizza. I know, me too. (laughs) James, thanks for that report. Thanks, James. Thanks, guys. All right, thank you. This is Midday Live. Lawrence Vaughn, Dr. Drew.